The life of an onboard reporter on the Volvo Ocean Race is not necessarily what you would expect. We spend a lot of time waiting for something to happen, but when it does happen, you better be wide awake. Our daily routine consists of shooting photos, videos, writing blogs and editing our content. Wherever we are on the planet, Inmastat will deliver the raw material back to shore via three geostationary satellites. It then gets edited by our media team and shared on social media, television, radios and newspapers. We can also deliver live content via our media station, switching between all kinds of angles whilst interviewing the sellers. The stern camera recalls continuously at all times, so if something happens on board, we press the crash button and we can travel back in time up to a couple of hours. The good thing about being on deck is that you get to talk to a lot of people. Sellers are really cool people to talk to. They have loads of funny stories, they like to joke around and they often make time fly when you soon realize that you haven't taken any photo, it's getting dark and you need to deliver your edit. Back at the media desk, you can polish all your pictures, make a selection of your best video shots and eventually talk to your best friend, the navigator. Some navigators are more chatty than others, but eventually you get to love all of them because you spend so much time next to them anyway. Basically, the media desk is like sitting at the coffee machine at the office. Everybody will show up at some point. We get given a massive amount of toys, camera, lenses, and water housing. Flying the drone is probably one of the easiest things to do. It's pretty much like playing a video game. We get a lot of credit for it, but honestly, the only difficult part is catching it back again on the boat. Of course, the job comes with a few challenges, but for the sellers, you're just another weight on the boat and need to be at the right place at all times. You get woken up a lot for no reason. Have to do a bit of exercise, get used to being wet and being constantly worried about your equipment. Like any other outside job, your routine is dictated by the weather. Some days are easy, some are very hard. Sometimes you have to dig into your deepest motivation to go outside, wondering why you're on a sailing boat in the middle of the ocean, surrounded by people you don't know. It's cold, it's wet, the food is shit, your picture looks horrible. Why, 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 why? It's time to wake up. Not for nothing, but just to wake up. Meeting incredible people was the main reason to come on this boat. I wanted to see as many teams as possible, and I got what I wanted. I wanted to get a slap in my face, and I got that all right. I got to see the world like never before. After eight months of racing, I'm on my way across the Atlantic to complete my trip around the globe on a sailing boat. Just like that. <laughs>